Okay, just a quick observation here of the new George 2. New to me anyways. The radio's been out for quite some time now. Um, differences really quick between this one and the FTC. Nothing's been done to this. So we haven't, I haven't done a single thing. Just unboxed it, started using it on the dummy load. So no out of band breakdown, right none of that stuff. I don't plan on doing it to this. That's not the reason why I got it. I like to use a CB as a CB. That's just the way I am, kind of. Um, nothing was changed in the service or engineering menu, however you want to call it. So we're just looking at exactly how it would come off the assembly line. Just unboxed it and started using it. So um, Mike gains up all the way. Our power is up all the way now, okay? One thing I noticed with this radio, clear fire was turned that way from the factory. All of the FCC models, it's always that way. I don't know why the difference is there, but maybe that's how they tell, I, and who knows, in the factory, maybe they turn them that way. That's I, I'm assuming they don't make the FCC in this one in the same um time frame because that could get confusing and probably they would accidentally put these in the FCC box and vice versa and then people would be mad. Um, probably the American side would be not so mad because of what this one can do versus the US one can't do. For me, it doesn't really matter. It's still a fun radio. Um, can't go wrong with the George no matter which version you get. It's a very fun CB radio to use in the US, our FTC model. So um, big difference, well, really not that big a difference, but some might think it's a big difference. But anyways, here's our single sideband power with the George 2. So we're seeing closer to 40 out of this radio right out of the box. So uh, I don't get that excited about this. I mean, it's like 10, 12, 13 extra watts. So. But it is different, so I figured I would show it. Um, we all know there's no NOAA weather on this, so um, that is not uh, important to the United Kingdom or the European market. So um, that's not necessary. So that function is removed. Um, otherwise, the radio performs identical to the George FCC in this format. Um, I'm assuming this has the UK 40 FM band built into it too. I haven't read the manual on how to do that yet, nor really do I need to because it's not going to really do much for me here. Kind of like the null weather over there. So obviously when the skip is coming in, maybe I could turn my antenna that way and maybe pick up some FM chatter. That might be fun to listen to, but... Um, it's like 7 o'clock at night right now, so doubtful that the skip is still running. So we're just on the dummy load. And as far as anything else goes with this, the AM is pretty much the same as the George FCC out of the factory. It's a little low. It's like 3.5 watts. And on low power, it's like a little under 1. Um, peak power is pretty much the same. There's no difference there. FM, it's about... 1.5 to 2 kilohertz at the voice peaks which is about normal for the FCC so basically it's the same radio in a lot of ways the only difference is it does just a little more power on sideband but it's clean power it's not over adjusted or anything that's what I was a little concerned about in the beginning as I'm seeing a little more power out of this I, I was assuming it would be like the situation with some of the 10 meter models where yeah, they do a lot of power, but when you look at the two-tone, it's really dirty. Uh, it's not the case for this one, and I'll show that really quick. And then that's probably going to be it for this one. Just a quick overview. All right, so we got our standard offsets on here, 1.9 kilohertz and 700 hertz. So let's go over to our 700 hertz right there. So that's that one. You can see the frequencies there. And that's our 1.9 there. So we'll take our measurement there. It's about... Now, this isn't set to actually read the accurate power. I didn't go through all that. But uh, power-wise right now, with our two-tone, we're looking at about 9 to 11. So let's see. This is a little bit faster measurements, about 10. 
just to call it even. So I think that's where they take their certification measurement is with the two tone. Now, for whatever reason with voice, these become very responsive. Same thing with the FCC. So about negative 19 point something down to negative 50, which is outstanding. So very good, very good. I think you're going to be hard pressed to find some of the older HF models that are even that good. And the same can be said for the FCC. I mean, it's also very good. So it's not anything really different that they've done on this one, but uh, it looks really nice there. If I bump up the second tone to, let's say, about 2.2, you can see a little bit more of a sharp waveform there. Um, doesn't really... It doesn't really change anything here. Just extended that one out to 2.2 kilohertz out, but pretty much the same can be said there too. So really nice. And that's our lower side there. That's basically nothing because it's being attenuated because we're transmitting upper side. So really nice to see that uh, the factory um, does a really good job with these and also the FTC. So uh, all I can say is uh, right now, I think the George in whatever market you, you're you in in the world for CB is probably the king of CB. And I don't think that anyone is going to really bring anything out that's going to rival it for a very long time. If they do, it's probably going to be these guys with something else. So um, I don't think anyone else is really... Most other brands and such are marketed more for the 10 meter stuff. So I think uh, I think we're looking at like the king of CB radio right now is the George FCC in America and the George II in, in the European and uh, the rest of the world, I guess. Um, I think this is more marketed towards the European market um, because in other parts of the world, I think they have other restrictions maybe. I'm not sure, but... Uh, I know this is a very popular radio in Europe, and it very well should be because it's a very good radio. Um, as you can see, I have not tampered with anything, <laughs> and I don't really plan on it because I, I don't see where I need to um, alter anything or, or give myself any out-of-band access with this. It's not my intention of using it. I think that uh, for CB, it's going to be very enjoyable every once in a while maybe to hook this up and just have a listen out there and see what's going on. But uh, I do have a George FCC off to the side here that you guys never see. That's one of my uh, daily used radios here, and I really enjoy using it. So I think I'll put this one back in the box and let it sit and just uh, enjoy knowing that I have it. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I saw with it. So um, I know it's probably sounds crazy, but I'm probably the only American that would want this and I don't want to modify it at all. I think most that's the, the reason they would want it is because our, our version is not modifiable to this point. I'm not saying that maybe someday it won't be, but to this date, I think that it's not. So, but that's not really the type of operator I am. I'm happy with sometimes how things are made and just using it the way it was designed is kind of more fun for me because anybody can go in and do whatever to it and go in and start adjusting service modes. But um, from what I see, it works pretty good. Now, if I got really serious about it, I probably would go in and look at like the AM mod or something and maybe adjust the power levels a little bit, maybe look at the deviation for FM. But I'm not really seriously planning on using this as a daily user. So it's going to be fine just to put back in the box and just just enjoy having it. So there's my uh, my look and my first impression on the George 2. I think, like I said before, I think the George is the king of CB, whether you're in America or Europe. So take that for what it is, and we'll catch everybody later. 7-3.